Today, I'm gonna to show you how to apply Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation without looking cakey. And yes, I do have a video on this topic already from a couple of years ago, but it was time for an update. I know it helped a lot of you, but I wanted to go through it a little bit faster, a little bit more concisely. And I think it's good to update videos like that every now and then. I also am including two bonus tips at the end of this video that were not in the original video. A lot of people love Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I am one of them and people that tend to love it are loyal to it. I'm talking they will keep it in their foundation arsenal for years and years and years. But at the same time, there's a lot of people who've tried this foundation and they haven't been able to get it to work for them quite right. It either looks too heavy or too cakey, doesn't blend out right. So if you're one of those people or maybe you haven't tried it yet and you're kind of on the fence, I'm gonna help you out today. Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation gives medium to full buildable coverage. It looks really nice on the skin. It doesn't feel heavy and it does not budge all day long. It's a beautiful foundation, but it does take a certain technique to get it to apply correctly and to blend out properly. So I'm going to show you that today. This is not a review of this foundation. This video is solely about the application technique of this foundation. This does have a pump on it that I added. It does not come like this, but they do sell a pump for it. I am in the shade 2W1 Dawn. I have a list of my foundation shade matches down below. It lives on my blog. I keep it updated if you guys want to check out some of my other foundation shades. Before we get into the demo of this foundation, if it's your first time here or if you've been to my channel before and you just haven't hit that subscribe button yet I'd love to have you back here on a regular basis so hit that subscribe button become part of the family hit that bell so that you get notifications every time I upload now we can get into the demo I've already applied my primer to my face just a pea size amount of primer is all you need under any foundation really any more than that it could cake things up any less than that and it might not do its job I'm gonna list everything I use today down below in the description box for you guys and I'm gonna list a few extra primers that I enjoy for my oily combination skin as well just in case you haven't found one that you love the key to getting a great finish from Estee Lauder double wear foundation is applying it the right way to start you need a dampened sponge I don't recommend a brush I don't recommend your fingers this is going to give you that medium to full buildable coverage and it will not look cakey it's not going to accentuate dry patches or anything you have on your face you're just gonna run your sponge underneath water until it's completely soaked and then squeeze it out as much as you can and squeeze it out again in a towel to where it's just barely damp that's all you need to do to get a dampened sponge that is perfect for any foundation application and then you just shake this foundation up be sure to shake it up now now my bottle has a pump on it doesn't come that way you can buy one this came from a drugstore foundation so that's why mine has it on there you can see how runny this is I think there's a misconception that it's pretty thick foundation but it's really not I'm just starting with one pump and I am going to dip my sponge into a small portion of what I have on the back of my hand right there and I'm just going to start applying it into sections onto my face. This is also key to getting the right application is applying this in sections because it does set very quickly. So if you go in and start putting dots all over your face and then try to blend it out, it is not going to blend out correctly for you. The next tip I'm going to give you is to apply in thin layers and then go back in wherever you need more coverage. A lot of times double wear gets a little bit cakey because you go in with a thick layer right off the bat. Just go in very lightly all over and then assess and then build where you need it because you may need less than what you actually think you need. So I'm just doing one light layer over my entire face in sections. So right now I have more light medium coverage. That's what I want to start with today and I'm gonna build it up. It actually really doesn't take that long and this is a great amount of coverage for day-to-day -day wear for a lot of people. So this is what we end up with after that first layer. The redness is covered. A lot of the red marks that I started with are covered. And another note is that I did not bring this foundation underneath my eyes. That's another thing to note if you have dry or textured under eyes, just blend it up to that point. Foundations are made to set down and you just don't want that underneath your eyes. So just blend it up to there and stop. So I have about this much left on my hand and I might add another half a pump or so. That's actually probably only a fourth of a pump. 
So I just put that much more and I'm going to use that and you can go back in with more if you want fuller coverage, but you don't have to. It's all about what you want for your day-to-day -day wear. But I find I don't typically need to add more around the sides of my face. But you can see I built a little more here and you can still see some of that redness through there. So I'm just going to build it a little bit more over here too. I also find I very rarely have to add extra on my forehead. That's a personal preference. It's all about where you need your extra coverage. And that's how it is with any foundation, really. It's all about where you need the coverage. But Estee Lauder Double Wear does apply very quickly. It's very easy to work with and it covers well. So this is where I'm stopping for today. I have medium to full coverage. It looks really good on the skin. My pores look good. The redness is even. I actually don't feel like I need a lot, if any, concealer at all. It doesn't look heavy, it doesn't look cakey. I'm gonna come right back with my two bonus tips after I finish the rest of my makeup and I'll show you the finished result. Okay, here we are post application, looking polished but not heavy, not cakey. This foundation is so good in that it does give you that medium to full buildable coverage and it lasts all day long. <laughs> Once it's on the face, it is not budging. And I think that's why people who love it tend to love it forever. I want to give you the two tips that I promised you that were not in my original video. Maybe you have dry skin and you tried this and you just can't make it work. A lot of people with dry skin wear this and love it. It does feel good on the skin, but I do know not every foundation is going to work for everyone. But if you have it and you're wanting to make it work and you tried this method and it still hasn't worked for you, number one, try mixing in a facial oil or a moisturizer with the foundation to add in a little bit of hydration. And if it's more about adding in a luminosity, even though this is kind of a soft matte finish, it's not a totally matte finish, especially as it settles in throughout the day. But if you want more of a radiance, you can add in a glowy primer. It can make the finish look really pretty as well. My second tip is to try a foundation cocktail with the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Try mixing in another foundation with this and it can turn out so beautifully. Maybe you're not wanting quite that much coverage, but you want something that's a little more budge proof you can mix in another foundation with a different type of coverage. Just see what works for you, play around with it, and you could come up with a great combo that could end up being an everyday staple for you. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I apply Estee Lauder Double Wear so it doesn't ever look heavy or cakey. I would love to know your experience with this foundation. Leave that for me in the comments down below. Have you tried it? Have you not? Did you love it? Do you not? If you are not subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.